worst movie I have ever seen in my life is the movie Happiness. The way I came across this movie is in high school we tried to outdo each other, my group of friends and me, with the worst movie possible to watch. It started off with dumb crap like Faces of Death, which is completely fake and weird and disgusting. But this by far takes the spot. It, let's see who the stars are. Yeah, John Lovitz, Philip Seymour Hoffman, uh, a lot of other people. Basically, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman plays a guy that's calling people randomly while jerking it and posting postcards to the wall with the result. Uh, she, he's calling one of the sisters. There's three sisters trying to find happiness in their life. One of the sisters is married to a pedophile. Yeah, who's a therapist and who actually has a dream that he's going through a nice meadowy area, park area, mowing people down with an M16. And while he's seeing a therapist of his own, they ask him why that one's different. He's like, oh, that's easy, because I didn't kill myself at the end. <clears throat> but the pedophile guy has a son that keeps coming to him for questions and ha, ah, like, what are boners and what does it mean to come? And he very calmly is like, oh, well, do you want me to help you with that? I'm like, what the fuck? And the entire movie has this, like, really creepy after-school special feel to it. And uh, you just watch it. I've never watched it 100% all the way through. I've seen the whole movie. I've just never sat through the entire thing. Like, from start to end, I have to go take a shower halfway through. It's just really disturbing. And apparently, like, the pedo dad freaking drugged his fr kid's friend. You don't know what's going on with that. And just, ah. Uh, you think, you're just sitting there the entire time, this has to get better. It has to get better. And the fucking credits roll. I mean, ah. Uh, yeah, like, the one, the sister that was getting called by Philip Seymour Hoffman, the very first scene is she's going out with John Lovitz and he fucking kills himself after the date. Like, no, it's not on screen, but yeah, the mom calls her up and says, it's your fault, my son's dead. And I was, I'm just like, huh? And it's just, it never stops. Dear God, why was this? This ranks up, this is like that close to me and like bad lieutenant bad, but that one was just so batshit crazy that it was funny. This one just, please no one watch.